All smiles with his daughter, Ed Butterfield of Ashland hides his burden worth $18,000. Right around when I got sick, I was pretty much in the hospital, unable to work. He was diagnosed with uh, shingles really bad, and then they found a brain aneurysm, and he was laid off work for like three to four months because of the shingles. There was no communication with the bank on their end. I mean, they just pretty much said, come up with the money or we're selling your house. Newly formed group Project Save Our South Shore Homes now puts pressure on the lenders at J.P. Morgan Chase, who allegedly let the loan compound despite early calls for modification. Number one, it's important because housing is a human right and everybody should have a home to live in. But number two, the reason it's also important is it can happen to anybody. I was diagnosed with the MS in 2003. And then I have a daughter that's 10, and she was diagnosed with Down syndrome when she was born in 2002. Big old, playing outside. My down, take a nap. <laughs> take a nap? <laughs> yeah. What concerns me is where am I going to put my kids to bed at? The sheriff's sale of their home is set for June 5th at 10 a.m. The group saying their last hope is to convince J.P. Morgan Chase that the family is worth any extra work. What you really need to hear in your own communities are the stories because it is, a, there's a human factor. Pretty much I didn't know where else to turn. I, everywhere I went was difficult. Sorry, I want to go home with my mom.